what's up? It's William from Rocket Zero, and welcome to another Pixel Art tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be building Tintin, or not Tintin, but Snowy from the Adventures of Tintin. Now, for this dot companion, we're gonna be using some black, some white, some sand, and then just two blocks of red. Now, before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and click that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. And now, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna begin by placing four black wools on the ground floor. This is gonna be the foundation for our snowy from the adventures of Tintin. Now, what we're gonna do next is that on the left side, we're gonna go up by two black wools, and then we're also gonna connect another two black wools. Now, we're just gonna build the outline first, and then we're gonna go back in there and add the detail and all, and all that other stuff. But for now, let's just focus on the outline. So what we're gonna do, after we have this four and these two sets of two, is that we're actually gonna place another four black wools going to the left. Now, every so often, after we build something, I'm gonna be taking a step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to hit pause, just in case you need a little bit of extra building time, or if you feel like I'm going too fast, or you need a break, or whatever. But you know, feel free to pause it at your convenience. So let's continue. What we're gonna do next is that on this left side, we're gonna have two black wools going up on the left side, then we're gonna have two black wools going up on the right side. Then we're gonna have three sets of three black wools going up on the right side. So one, two, three, that's gonna be our first set out of three. And then one, two, three, that's gonna be our second set out of three. And then one, two, three, that's gonna be our third set out of three black wools going up on the right side. Now we're gonna add four black wools going up on the left side. So one, two, three, four. And then on the right side, we're actually gonna add three black wools. Now following those three, we're gonna add three more black wools connected going to the right. And then we're gonna have one diagonal on each side. Now we have a lot more to build in this section, but we're just building the outline. So let's go ahead and continue. But for the outline, we need to have a big row of 12. So what we're gonna do is that to the right of this black wool, we're gonna add a white. And then above this white, we're gonna place 12 black wools going to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, and then 12. So make sure you guys have that row of 12. Now, after that row of 12, we're gonna drop down and we're gonna place two black wools going to the left. And then we're gonna have three diagonal black wools like so. So make sure you guys have that, just those, you know, one diagonal going to the left, one going to the right, and then one going to the left again. Then we're gonna add two black wools going to the right. Then we're gonna drop down and we're gonna have two going to the right again. And then we're gonna have one diagonal. And that's gonna be one part of the bone because he's gonna be holding a bone, you know? Most dogs love bones. And this guy is no different. All right, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna continue over here. We're gonna go up by three black wools. So one, two, three. Then we're gonna have one diagonal going to the right. Now below that diagonal, we're actually gonna add a white wool because to the right of that white wool, we gotta place five black wools going up. So one, whoops, but we need to do it with our black wool. One, two, three, four, and five. So there we have our five black wools going up. Now down here, we're gonna connect a cube out of four black wools like so. Then we're gonna place three black wools like that. So now it looks like two cubes inside of each other. And then we're gonna add two black wools on the top there. And that's gonna be his nose, look at it. Look how cute. Okay, now we gotta continue. We're gonna go up and we're gonna place three black wools going up on the right. So one, two, and three. Then we're gonna have one diagonal. And after that one diagonal, we're gonna place five black wools on the right going straight up. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna start building his ears. Now for that, we're gonna have 
you know, one diagonal going to the left, one going to the right, and then another going to the left. So just like with the, the bone down here, that's what we're going to be doing. So make sure you guys have those three blocks just like that. And then we're going to add one more diagonal going up and to the right, and then one going down and to the right. So make sure you guys add those two additional diagonal black wools. Now I know this part's kind of confusing, so I'm just going to hover here for a couple more seconds. You know, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend to pause it here if you need just a little more time. Now what we're going to do is that on this right side, we're going to go down by three black wools. Now after those trees, we need to place a row of five, but before we get to it, we're going to place a white wool on the left side because it's going to be sticking one block to the left, if that makes sense. Look, I'll place a five blocks now. One, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, one block does stick out farther to the left. So just make sure you guys have that. It's very important. Now on the right, we're going to add two black wools. Now for the other ear, we're going to have two diagonal black wools. So one and two. And then another diagonal going down. So make sure you guys have those three blocks just like that. And then from this block, we're going to have one diagonal going up and one diagonal going down. This parts are always confusing, but it does really look really, really good at the end of the video. So we have to make sure that we do it right. Now, what we're going to do next is that we're going to go down by two black wools on the left side. So one and two. Now, after those twos, we're going to go down by 13 black wools on the left side. So it's going to be 13. So here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen. So make sure you guys have those thirteen black wools going down on the left side. Awesome. Now after those thirteens that are going down on the left side, what we're gonna need to do is that we're actually gonna place a white wool below it. And then a black to the left of the white wool, on the bottom of the white wool, and on the right of the white wool. Now he does have a lot of detail here, and you know what, I guess we should do it anyhow. So what we're going to do is that, let's go ahead and place two black wools right here next to this white. So we're going to go one, two. So make sure you guys have those. Two white, or I'm sorry, two black wools right there. Then what we're going to do is that, uh, I know we were going to do the details at the end, but it's really important that we finish this section. So we're going to grab our sand blocks and we're going to place two sands. Then we're going to place one, two, three, four blocks of sand. And then another, oh no, what a mess. This is why it's important to do the detail at the end. I hate sand blocks. Those gravity blocks are so annoying. But now we're going to place two more sand blocks right there. So make sure you guys have that. So it's going to be two. And then over here is going to be a row of four. You can use whatever other block you want, but I think for the bow and sand looks pretty good. All right, so now for this detail here, we're going to have one black wool on the left. Then we're going to have three across the top here. And then two. Now here we need to add three blocks of detail. So it's going to be one in the middle, then a diagonal going to the right and a diagonal going to the left. Take that little extra block out. And there you go. Make sure you guys have that. We still have to go and give him his eye and like a little bit like eyebrow, but all of that's a detail that we're going to do at the end. I just really wanted to get this done because it's confusing and I think it's easier to build it since we're already right here, you know? So anyways, now when you're going to do six sets of two black wools going down on the right side. So I'm going to go over that again because we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six sets of two black wools going down on the right. So here we go. We're going to have one two that's her first set out of six so one two our second set out of six one two our third set out of six and then one two our fourth set out of six and then one two our fifth set out of six and then one two that's going to be our six out of six sets of two black wools going down on the right so make sure you guys go down by two black wools on the right six times. And after you do that, this is what we should be left with. So awesome. Now what we're going to do next is that we're going to have two diagonal 
black wool's going down and to the right. So here we have one and two. Now after those two, we're going to go down by six on the right. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have one diagonal going to the left. And below this diagonal, we're going to connect three black wools going to the right. Then we're going to go up by four on the right. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to add one diagonal going to the left. So make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. Let's take a big step back. This is what we have so far for our snowy. That's such a good name for a white dog. Don't you guys think? I think it's a great name. For Arsenali from for, um, The Adventures of Tintin. I haven't really seen any of like where he's from, but I know there's a movie about him. So if you guys like recommend the movie, let me know. I haven't seen it. Alright, so what we're going to do next is that we're now going to place 10 black wools going to the left. So here we go. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. And we have finished the outline of our snowy from the adventures of Tintin, but not the whole outline because we still have to do some detail. So let's go ahead and start working on that detail. So let's go down here, right where we left off, where we placed those 10 black wools. We're now gonna connect two black wools going up on the left side. Then we're gonna have three black wools going to the right. Then we're gonna drop down and have two black wools going to the right. Then over here, we're going to connect two black wools going up. Then we're going to have three black wools going up on the right. One, two, three. And then we're going to have five black wools going up on the right. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now on this right side of this five black wools going up, we're going to skip two blocks. And then on the third block, we're going to place two black wools going to there. Actually, no, on the second block, we're going to place two black wools going to the right. Then we're going to have two diagonals. So one and two. And that's what this middle part of our snowy should look like. Pause it if you need to. We still have a little more detail to do on the left. But for now, this is all that we're going to be doing. So awesome. So now over here, what we're going to do is that we're going to add three black wools going up. So one, two, three. Make sure you guys have added those three. Then we're going to connect two going down on the right side. Then we're going to add another three going up on the right. So one, two, three. And then we're going to connect three black wools going down on the right. And now we're going to make a cube out of four black wools. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to connect two black wools going down on the right here. And then we're going to add a diagonal on the top left and on the top right. So let's take a step back. Make sure you guys have this for the bottom of your snowy from the adventures of Tintin. Now we're going to grab our red wool. This is going to be the only two blocks that we're going to be using of a red. And it's going to go right here in the middle. So amazing. Now we're going to go back to our sand. And we're going to fill in this part of the bones. Pretty easy. Two. And then one, two, three. And then two again. And there you go. Make sure you guys have done his little mouth with two red wools. And then the rest with sand. And we can throw away this blocks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Because we, we no longer need him. All right. Now for his eyes and his one eyebrow. We're going to grab our white wool. And you guys see these three black wools going up? Well, we're going to place a white. And on the right of the white, we're going to add, you know, two black wools going down. Then we're going to grab our white again. And we're going to place three white wools going to the right. And then two black wools going down. Now for his one eyebrow, I don't know why this pixel art only has one eyebrow. I guess it's just from the angle. It's only showing one. So for that one eyebrow, we're going to grab our white. And we're going to place two white wools going up. And then a black on the left. On the top and on the right. And there we go. Now it's time to just fill them in with some white wool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. 
And there we go, that's what Snow Age should look like once he's completely filled in with some white wool. So if you guys enjoyed this Snowy from the Adventures of Tintin Pitzlar, please make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't, go ahead and click that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. And just thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you real soon in the next video.